Hey guys, I'm back with another tour video. Today we're going to be taking a look at this 4 bedroom, 3 bathroom suburban house that I built for a tutorial. As you can see, there's a very large garage there at the front left side of the house, and there's a pool in the backyard. And I now think this is my favorite suburban house that I've ever made. And just like all the other tours I've done, if you want to know how to build this house, I'll be sure to link part 1 of the tutorial down in the description. So I'm going to be starting here at the front side. We'll just look down, you can see we have a very large driveway here, leads directly to the garages and to the front porch. And the landscaping for this build is actually quite simple. We just have these strips of the lime and green terracotta so it looks like mowed grass on each side. And then two smaller sized garden areas on each side as well. So we'll take a look at the house itself. As I mentioned before, we have the two garages right here. We have a nice looking front porch, pretty nice size to it. That is a door which leads to the garages. And then let's back up and I'll just wrap around towards the side of the house. You can see we have a nice size chimney right there. Here's the side and we kind of just wrap around towards the backyard. So this is the pool. We also have a very nice size L shape deck right here. So here's another look at the back side. I think this build turned out really nice. As I mentioned, it's probably now my favorite suburban house that I've ever made. I'm really happy with this one. We'll wrap around back up towards the front and we'll head on through the front door. So when you walk through, the first thing you see is a nice size living room. So we got two couches, little table next to the couch, table down the middle, and a TV over there on that wall. And here, I'll turn around, I'll go through this door. This is where the garage is. As you can see, very large. And I always leave them empty, so if you want to add your own vehicles when you do the tutorial, that'll be up to you. And then this doorway is back up towards the front porch. So we'll head back through. I'm actually just going to go straight across, right through here, and head on into a bathroom. So, got just some nice counter space here with the sink. The toilet right there and a bathtub slash shower kind of just like underneath the staircase that goes up to the second floor nice cut out in the wall with a birch button so it looks like a bar of soap so i think this is a really nice looking bathroom i think it's like the perfect size and i like that little slanted ceiling that we have there let's head on out we'll continue on and walk through this doorway which leads into the first bedroom and i believe yeah, it's definitely the biggest bedroom in the house. So over here at the left, we just have a little storage unit with some decorations. Another storage area there. Right down the middle is the bed. We got a cutout in the wall right above the headboard. Over here is another cutout in the wall. And then here we have a desk with a laptop. So that's about it here for this bedroom. We'll head back through. We'll go more towards the entrance of the house again, and we'll carry on past the living room. And back here is the kitchen and dining room. So, we got the fridge there at the left. We got the kitchen island right down the middle with the sinks. We got the ovens back there, nice oven hood. Plenty of cabinets and counter space. And then over here, some more counter space here towards the right is the dining room table and then these two doorways back here have direct access to the back deck which you could then access the pool so let's head back through that is actually everything here for the first floor of the house so yeah i'm really happy with the layout of this house i think every single room is like the perfect size we got a nice size dining room space right here very nice size kitchen I think this is like the perfect size living room. This bedroom over here might be a little bit overkill. It's quite big. But then over here we also have a very nice size, like a perfect size bathroom as well. So yeah, I think the layout of this house is definitely really nice. I really, really like the exterior too. And that is definitely the reason, like those two reasons alone are the reason why this is now my favorite suburban house. So we walk up the staircase to the second floor and we have another living room space up here which is also a very nice size another tv as well 
Just got the two couches, table in the middle, another table over here with a bush, cut out in the wall above that couch. So I'll go ahead, I'll just look here towards the right, and we have a bedroom right here. So this one isn't anything too crazy, we just have the bed up in the corner of the room there with a nightstand and a carpet. We walk through here, we just have a closet, and then through this bathroom, or through this room, this doorway, is another bathroom. So we have the toilet right there in the corner, the sink right there, and the bathtub. And you know what? I just noticed something that I always forget when I do the bathrooms is the banner. So it looks like a towel, and it looks like I forgot to do that for this bathroom, but oh well. Uh, it still looks fine. This is actually probably one of the more simple bathrooms I've done. Kind of looks a little bit empty. But it's not very big, so I tried to fill it in as best I could. We'll head back through. Back into the living room. You can see there, that is the staircase which goes up to the attic. Let's walk through this door. Here is a very nice sized bathroom. So if that one over there isn't good enough, we have a really nice one right here. So we got a full sized shower. We got the toilet. And then the sink over here. Some shelves over there on that wall. And yeah, I didn't forget the banners in here. So let's head back through. And we have this other doorway through this side. And this is another bedroom. I think this one's a nice size. So we got the desk over here with a laptop. The nightstands and then the bed down the middle and a storage unit over there. So that's it here for this bedroom. We'll head back through. And that is now it here for the second floor of the house. We'll continue on up to the third floor. So right here, we just have a little kind of like hallway. So you don't walk directly into the bedroom. Just got a little space here with just a table and a carpet. And now we walk through the door and this is where the bedroom is. So we have a fireplace in here actually, which is lined up with the chimney on the exterior. And then we have the bed right down the middle, cut out in the wall right there storage unit and that's about it in here it's actually still a very very nice size bedroom up here and i really like how the fireplace is there really tied it all together so now that is actually it for this house so as i mentioned four bedrooms three bathrooms so yeah this is definitely one of my favorite builds and now my new favorite suburban house so i'm back here on the outside we'll just do a little flyby as i do the outro so yeah guys, that's going to be it here for this tour for this large suburban house. And once again, like always, if you want to know how to build it, I'll be sure to have a link to part 1 of the tutorial down in the description below.